Hello guys, I am Dr. Neeraj. So today I will discuss about some historical milestones of the plant tissue culture. So let's get started. So first the term totipotency. So totipotency is the ability of single plant cell to transform or to change into the complete plant or in other words you can say when the single plant cell can also give rise to the complete plant that is known as the totipotency and this term was given by the G. Heberlant. And in the 1910, the concept of secondary metabolite was given by the A. Kozel. So secondary metabolites, these are the products which are generally secreted by the plants in order to defend them, means they are not required for their growth but they are just you can say produced in order to protect themselves from the you can say from uh, preys. So these secondary metabolites they have industrial importance like they can be used in various industry for example in perfume industry. So the concept of secondary metabolite was given by the A. Kozel. In 1925 the technique that is embryo culture was given by the F. Liebeck and in this technique, as the name indicates, embryo culture. So here we take the embryo at the various developmental stage and culture them in the media. Why we perform the embryo culture? Because in some plants, the embryo they cannot grow into the complete plant, or due to some disease that embryo get it get terminated. So in them, or you can say in that plants, we can culture the embryo so that the complete plant can be grown from that single embryo. So that technique was first used by the L. F. Liebeck in 1925. Next in the 1928, the term phytoharm was introduced and it was uh, used by the F. W. Wendt. And what are the phytohormones? So as the name indicate, phyto means plant and hormones means hormones. So these are the hormones which are secreted by the plants. Or you can also say these are the chemicals which perform some you can say functions in the plant like they can act as growth regulators. So they were this phyto phytohormones was introduced by F. W. Wendt. Now the meristem culture you can say the first meristem culture which was used for the Dahlia and it was used by the Morel and Martin. By this meristem culture, the virus-free plant was produced. So you can say the first virus-free plant was produced by using the meristem culture by Z. Morel and Martin in 1952. In 1958, the Rinet developed the somatic embryo in the suspension culture. Earlier, we just uh, talk about the embryo culture, but here we are talking about the embryo culture which is developed in the suspension culture. So suspension is a technique in which the cells they remain suspended in the liquid medium. So in that medium the somatic embryo was developed by Rinet in 1958. In 1960 the method of protoplast isolation and culture was given by the EC cocking. So protoplast is you can say it is a cell without cell wall. So when we take the cell without cell wall that is known as protoplast and the process or the method of isolation of that protoplast and culturing was given by the E.C. Cocking in 1960. In 1962, Morashes and Skoog they developed the medium which is known as the MS media that is Morashes Skoog media and it is you can say widely used media in the plant tissue culture. It is a basic media which provide the basic nutrient for the growth of uh, you can say for the growth of plant under the culture conditions. In 1964 Goa and Maheshwari they give the method of anther culture and also they give the method for the haploid productions. So haploid plants are those plants which contain the single set of chromosomes and they are very much useful in different kind of research. So Goa and Maheshwari they first produce the haploid plants by using the anther culture. In 1981, the Larkin and Skowarf, they produce 
द टर्म दैट इज दे परपोज द टर्म सोमा क्लोनल वेरिएशन लार्किन एंड स्को क्रॉफ्ट परपोज द टर्म सोमा क्लोनल वेरिएशन सो वट आर सोमा क्लोनल वेरिएशन सो दीज आर द वेरिएशन विच आर शोन बाय द प्लांट विच आर प्रोड्यूस्ड फ्रॉम प्लांट टिश्यू कल्चर सो इन सिंपल वर्ड्स यू कैन से द वेरिएशन शोन बाय द प्लांट्स विच आर इट सेल्फ प्रोड्यूस बाय द प्लांट टिश्यू कल्चरिंग दीज वेरिएशन आर नोन एज सोमा क्लोनल वेरिएशन इन 1985, आर बी हॉर्श एंड दे कोलीग दे फर्स्ट प्रोड्यूस यू कैन से फर्स्ट ट्रांसजेनिक प्लांट वॉज प्रोड्यूस बाय यूजिंग एग्रो बैक्टीरिया मेडिएटेड जेनेटिक ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन एंड द प्लांट वॉज निकोटियाना टेबैकम दैट इज टोबैको सो दे यूज द टोबैको प्रोटोप्लास एंड बाय यूजिंग द एग्रो बैक्टीरिया मेडिएटेड ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन दे प्रोड्यूस फर्स्ट ट्रांसजेनिक plants so that's all for today guys see you in the next video thank you very much